Recently, I did a skit on Squid Game, and I was playing Gung Yu's character, so I thought it would be fun if I did a hair tutorial on it. It's gonna be very simple and easy. Ideally, the haircut that I have could have been a bit shorter in certain areas, like the sides and even the back, but I can make this work. First step, wet the hair. I prefer using a spray bottle because your hair doesn't need to be dripping wet. Your hair will not take shape until your hair is about 70% dry, so spraying it just saves some time. A prep product that I like to use on myself is the Styling Mousse. This helps my hair to achieve a bit more volume and take shapes easier. Focus applying on the roots. I'm using a 1.5 inch round brush. Starting in the back, put the brush behind the section. Roll the brush continuously backwards as you're blow drying. At the same time, pulling it upwards or forward depending on how much volume you wish to achieve. The section you pick up should be around the same size as your round brush. Move forward to the next section when you're done. Repeat the same steps you have done earlier rolling backwards and pulling upward or forward at the same time. One thing to keep in mind is to keep your hair dryer always moving, so you don't burn your hair. Moving forward to the front sections. This time, there's a slight change. You might notice that in the front sections, I tend to pull the brush a bit more forward. That is because I want the front to have a bit more volume than the back. You can tell that I'm almost pulling everything straight to the front for these two sections. Once you're done, flip what you just did to the other side. Now we're gonna work on the hair underneath. Using the same technique, starting from the back, moving forward after each section is done. Remember to keep your blow dry moving to avoid any damage to your hair. Just like the last time, the front section I tend to pull forward to achieve more volume. When you're done, flip everything back to where it's supposed to be. It should look something similar to this. You can tell the front has a bit more volume than the back. Before moving to the other side, I use my fingers to blow dry the back straight down just to blend in with everything we just did. Using a smaller brush, taking a horizontal section from the top, putting the brush underneath just like last time. Except this time, we're using a horizontal section. This is trying to recreate that corner that he has on the upper side of his hairstyle. Then to blend everything underneath, we're doing the same technique that we did on the other side. Repeat starting from the back and moving forward after each section. When you're done blow drying, push everything underneath 
to the back. For styling product, I tend not to use any clay or wax for my own hair, personally. That is because my hair is on the finer side. It doesn't really have much strength, so any hair product that might weigh it down, I try to avoid it. This is the Texture Tea Spray. I like it because it's almost like a matte dry hair spray. It doesn't leave your hair looking shiny or wet, but it does give you that volume and boost that you need. Again, I'm focusing spraying at the roots because that is where I want the volume to be. When you're using this product, you can feel the hair getting thicker and thicker. Again, shaping it just like how he does it. Slick everything back underneath before applying your finishing product. And the last step, spray it down. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and comment below on what you want to see in the future. Feel free to follow my Instagram for other contents. Other than that, I'll see you next time.